The Solar System The solar system consists of the Sun and its planetary system of eight planets, their moons, and other objects including asteroids and meteors. Our planet Earth is among one of the eight planets that revolve around the Sun. It's called a solar system because the word solar means relating to the Sun, and since the Sun is the center of most parts of the system, it is called the solar system. Let's understand more about the planets and the Sun. Objects seem to be smaller in size when they are seen from a great distance, but in reality are very huge and large. Similarly, the moon and stars are very big and huge in size, but appear to be small in size to our eyes because they are very, very far away from the Earth. The distance between the objects in the solar system is so large that these numbers would run into the millions and billions of kilometers. Hence, they are measured with a specific unit called a light year. One light year is exactly nine quadrillion 460 trillion 730 billion 472 million 580,000 800 meters. The Sun is only 149 million kilometers away from the Earth. The Sun is very far from the Earth and that is the reason why the Sun looks so small in size. The solar system is the family of the Sun. The Sun is a very big compared to the Moon probably around 400 times bigger. The Sun is also a star, but remember, it's not the biggest star in the universe. There are a lot of stars present in the universe, which are very far away from our Sun, some of them about thousands of light years away. That is why stars look like little dots in the night sky. The Sun, like all stars, is a ball of fire. It is continuously burning because of hydrogen reactions that happen inside the Sun. These reactions occur at every high temperature and are responsible for the emission of the enormous light energy coming from the Sun in the form of light rays. The sunlight from the Sun takes about 8.5 minutes to reach the surface of the Earth. The Sun is the center of our solar system and all the planets revolve around the Sun in orbits. An orbit is a curved path of an object around a point in space. Orbit means moving around in Roman. The Earth is one of the planets in the solar system and takes exactly 365.25 days to revolve around the Sun. The Earth also rotates around its own axis in a 24 hours or in one day. Just like Earth, every planet rotates on its own axis and revolves around the Sun, having different lengths of day and year. Let's learn about the planets in the order of their distance from the Sun, starting from the closest. Mercury Mercury is the smallest of the planets. It is as hot as it is close to the Sun, and hence no living creature can live on this planet. Mercury was named after a Roman god, Mercury, who is the fast-flying messenger. Mercury takes only 88 days to revolve around the Sun, which makes it the fastest revolving planet. Venus Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun. Did you know that Venus is called the morning and evening star? The reason for this is that Venus is visible in the morning and evening as the brightest star from Earth. Venus takes about 244.7 days to orbit around the Sun, and it is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Earth Our planet Earth is the third closest planet to the Sun. It is a blue in color, and there is a lot of water present on the surface of Earth. Water constitutes about 70% of the entire surface of our planet. Unlike Earth, the Moon is not a planet. It is a natural satellite of Earth, and it revolves around the Earth. Satellite is a smaller body which rotates around another rotating body. Earth is the only planet which has animals, trees, and human beings. Mars Mars is called the red planet because it's red in color. This red color is due to the presence of a chemical called iron oxide. This iron oxide is present on the surface of Mars, hence giving it its red color. 
Mars is named after the Roman god of war. It has two moons that in turn revolve around it. Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest and largest planet of our solar system, and it is named after the Roman god Jupiter. Jupiter is 317 times the mass of Earth. Jupiter may have all the rocky core of the heavier elements, making it the biggest and heaviest planet. The outer atmosphere of Jupiter is divided into several bands and different latitudes, resulting in extreme storms. Jupiter has 67 moons revolving around it. These are natural satellites of Jupiter. Saturn Saturn is the only planet to have rings around it. Saturn is named after the Roman god of agriculture. Saturn has over just 95 times the mass of Earth. The rings around Saturn are mostly composed of ice particles and some rocky debris and dust. Saturn has around 62 moons revolving around it. Uranus Uranus is similar to Neptune and is named after the Greek god of sky, Uranus. It has around 27 natural satellites revolving around it. Uranus is unique when compared to other planets because of the fact that its axis of rotation is tilted sideways, unlike the other planets. It looks bluish green in color because of the atmosphere of Uranus is very cold and cloudy. Neptune Neptune is the farthest planet away from the Sun. It is about 17 times size of the Earth. Neptune is light blue in color because it is the coldest of all planets. Neptune is the densest of all planets as well. It is named after the Roman god of sea. There was another planetary object called Pluto, which was originally the ninth planet, but it is no longer considered a planet because Pluto and its moons are now considered to be a region. This region extends from the orbit of Neptune. There is a huge gap between Mars and Jupiter. This huge gap is called the asteroid belt. This belt is occupied by a large number of irregularly shaped objects which are called asteroids. These objects are often called as minor planets because of their size. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more cool science videos.